It's December and the clock is ticking. If Samsung intends to keep excitement alive for the One UI 7.0 beta program, it has to act now. Delays at this stage could dampen enthusiasm and leave users questioning whether the wait was worth it. Rumors are swirling with hope, suggesting that the beta could finally debut in the first two weeks of December. If Samsung sticks to its well-worn tradition, the Galaxy S24 series will be the first to experience the magic, with other eligible devices following a few weeks later. Germany, the US, and Korea, the usual pioneers. The initial beta rollout is expected to include Germany, Korea, and the United States, countries that consistently enjoyed day one access. The rest of the world will have to wait for the second phase, when Galaxy S24 owners in the United Kingdom, India, Poland, and China can finally join the beta excitement. Notably, the second build for the early access markets will likely serve as the first build for these additional regions. What about older devices? The Galaxy S23 series should be next in line to receive the beta, but the S23 FE, S24 FE, and Galaxy S21 FE seem to be left out of the equation. Even the Galaxy S21 lineup is unlikely to make the cut, signaling Samsung's focus on newer devices. The XKN build, a game changer in the making. According to trusted leaker Ice Universe, Samsung's XKN version of One UI 7 is already stealing the spotlight in internal testing. With its vivid app opening animations and buttery smooth responsiveness, this build sets a new standard for elegance and usability. Fans are crossing their fingers, hoping Samsung will base the beta on this standout version, promising an interface that's fast, fluid, and visually delightful. One UI 7. Innovation with a touch of nostalgia. One UI 7 isn't just another update, it's poised to be one of Samsung's most significant releases yet, bringing a host of features powered by Android 15. But not all news is rosy. Rumors suggest that Samsung may discontinue downloadable Edge panels from the Galaxy Store with this update. Edge panels? A bittersweet goodbye? Edge panels, a beloved feature introduced over a decade ago, have been a staple for quick access to apps, widgets, and information. Reports suggest that while existing panels will remain usable, new downloads will no longer be possible after updating to One UI 7. For devices that ship with One UI 7 pre-installed, previously downloaded panels can still be accessed via the My Apps section in the Galaxy Store. However, once uninstalled, they're gone for good. Dex for Windows, another farewell. Adding to the mix of changes, Samsung has confirmed it will discontinue support for its Dex app on Windows with One UI 7. While this is a loss for multitasking enthusiasts, the company's focus seems squarely on refining the core user experience with this update. As we count down the days, anticipation is reaching fever pitch. With One UI 7 promising a mix of innovation, aesthetic upgrades, and a dash of nostalgia, Samsung fans worldwide are eager to see what the future holds. Will Samsung rise to the occasion and deliver a beta program that exceeds expectations? Time will tell, but the excitement is palpable. One UI 7 brings big changes. Say goodbye to edge panel downloads. Samsung is gearing up to roll out its highly anticipated One UI 7.0 update, a monumental leap in design and functionality aimed at delivering a more seamless and engaging user experience. But amid the excitement lies a bittersweet change. Edge panel downloads will no longer be available via the Galaxy Store once you upgrade to One UI 7. If you're a fan of these handy shortcuts, it's time to reflect on their journey as they step back to make way for Samsung's bold new vision. Here's what you need to know about this emotional farewell. What's changing? No more new edge panels. The Galaxy Store will no longer support downloads of new edge panels after you update to One UI 7. It's the end of an era for those who loved personalizing their edge displays with extra functionality. Your panels are safe for now. Thankfully, any edge panels you downloaded before the update will remain available in the My Apps section of the Galaxy Store. However, if you uninstall them, they'll be gone for good. Key details you should know. Edge panels you already have will keep working. The good news is that the edge panels you've grown to rely on will continue to function after the upgrade, as long as you don't uninstall them. For new One UI 7 devices, if you're buying a new device with One UI 7 pre-installed, you can re-download the edge panels you previously used via the My Apps section. No love for foldables. As before, edge panels won't be available on Galaxy Fold or other large screen devices. FAQs. Q1. Can I still download edge panels on devices with older One UI versions? Yes. Devices running One UI 6.0 or earlier can still download edge panels from the Galaxy Store if they're supported. Q2. How long can I use the edge panels I already have? You can use them as long as they're installed on your device. Just don't uninstall them. 
Q3. How can I check my One UI version? Simply go to Settings, About Phone, Software Information, and look under the One UI version section. Final thoughts. This change might feel like saying goodbye to an old friend, but it's all part of Samsung's mission to create a sleeker, more focused experience in One UI 7. If you're an Edge panel enthusiast, make sure to download and back up your favorites before taking the leap into the future. As we bid farewell to a beloved feature, we also open the door to new innovations that promise to redefine how we interact with our devices. Stay tuned. Samsung's next chapter is just getting started.